And hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm here today with another brand new Guild Wars 2 video. And today we're going to be showing you another method on how to make easy gold. And this method is, is a bit more time consuming and can be, I guess, a bit more boring um, sometimes because it's very repetitive. It's a farming guide, so it's kind of a, a farming method on how to make gold. If you saw my other video, the method that shows you how to make gold with salvaging, that one is a very quick method. You don't need to be on the game very long. Uh, if you don't have a lot of time to play, you just go and... You know, go see what's see what's cheap to buy, see what materials sell for a lot, order them, come back in about five or six hours, pick up your items from the trading post, and then salvage and sell. So it doesn't require much time, just requires a little bit of time to see what's selling for a lot and to see what is what items are cheap and you can salvage and then you come back and sell it. So it doesn't take a lot of time. But the method I'm gonna be showing you today does take a lot more time and it can be a bit more time consuming and but you'll be making a lot more money really quickly it's a lot more money really quickly and this is part of the reason why i have almost 300 gold right now about a third of that was from the salvaging method and the other two thirds is from doing this method so what you'll need is vials of maize balm now this method yeah, some of you may know this method already, so it may not be a new method, but a lot of people don't know this method. So, Maze Bomb, what this does, these are the items that you get from the Halloween quest. Or well, the Halloween trick-or-treat bags and the Halloween quests and, you know, the, the labyrinth that was available during Halloween. You find these things as they drop or as you open trick-or-treat bags. So, basically, this is the cool part. Now, a lot of people uh, want to buy trick-or-treat bags. I don't know why they want to buy trick or treat bags. I don't know what's so amazing that's in them that you that you would want to buy that you would want to get still. But for some odd reason, now maybe I just don't know that much. But trick or treat bags are selling for about five silvers. They used to be almost six silvers, but it doesn't even matter. Five silvers or six silvers, however you want to sell them, they still make a lot of money. If you sell them instantly. They also um, sell for a lot. People still want to buy them. You see this? You can tell that this is quite recent for Silver's 90. Someone put an order quite recently because look at the huge jump. They were like, no, you're going to give me all of them. I don't want anybody getting them except me for 490. So they're still high in demand. I don't know why, though. And the only way to get trick-or-treat bags now is to kill candy corn elementals. Now, how are you going to kill candy corn elementals? Well, you're going to kill candy corn elementals by using maize bomb. And maize bomb turns three animals into three, um, how do they call it? Three of the neutral animals. I forget what, what they're called. The little critters running around. Basically, the little animals that have white names, you can transform them into candy corn elementals with the vial of maize bomb. And then you can kill them, and each of the candy corn elementals drops a trick or treat bag. Now, sounds all fine and dandy, right? How do I get maze bomb though? Basically, if we look, if you have maze bomb, then great, you can use it. You don't need to buy it. But look, now these are these became a lot more expensive. When I bought these, they were seven silvers. So, they have become more expensive, but regardless, you are still going to be making a huge amount of money. Um, if you want, you can order them, because now I'm making the math, and <laughs> I'm actually making a lot more money. Because the thing is, is that each one of these maze bombs has three charges. So, actually, yeah, you'll still be making a lot of money. So, it doesn't even matter. Exactly. So basically, what you want to do, you can either uh, order them. I don't know how many people have them though still, so I'm not sure how successful you will be at ordering them. But if you buy them instantly, that's completely fine. So I already have some. So say I, say I bought like 45 of these right now. And, you know, I bought them for 4 gold because each is 10 silvers. 
But say one of these is 10 silvers, right? Now watch what we're going to do. Now you, you might be asking, well, where the heck are a bunch of, you know, animals with white names? One of the locations is right here in Queensdale with this waypoint. Now this is a good spot because not many people go here. Not a lot of people know of this area. So this is one of the farming places that's not very popular and not many people are going to bother you. Alright, so once you are here in Queensdale, what you want to do is you want to head on over to this little area here. The Death Root Shack. Now keep in mind, we bought... You're, you're buying one maze bomb for 10 silvers so just keep that number in mind and watch what we're gonna do now the thing is is that this can be a tricky method if you don't know how to do it but that's why I'm here to show you right where the heck is it Oh, it's right here. Oh, look, somebody's doing it already. Somebody's already doing it. Oh, hopefully they won't bother us too much. Alright, so your goal is to... Basically... A lot of these white animals spawn here. Now, it's kind of hard for me to show you because this guy is here. That's going to be annoying. But let me just show you. Now in order for you to do this, there's two ways of doing it. There's one way of doing it if you have no one here bothering you. And there's another way of doing it if you have people bothering you. I'm going to show you the method on if you have people bothering you. Now you see these three frogs right here? You want to group them together. You have that, you kill them, yeah this method only works if you have no one here bothering you, because the goal is for you to go and use all of these three charges, right? And you can have them attacking, if you're a high level just let them attack you. Now th there are birds that spawn here, where are the birds here? Oh there they are. If these birds can spawn, that'd be nice. Alright, there they are. Another one will spawn. Usually, the, usually, there's three. There's three. Okay. And then, because I'm an elemental, it's going to be fairly easy for me to group them all together. And this guy's going to kill them, but that's okay, because I already did damage to them. All right, so we just got eight trigger treat bags. Now, if you do this correctly, you should get nine trigger treat bags. Because the point is, is that in this area, a lot of things are grouped together. Sometimes you'll see three birds, oops, three birds sitting on this, sitting on this wood right here, and you can transform all three of them. Then sometimes you'll see three frogs grouped over here, transform all three of them. And then sometimes you'll see, you know, some other animals right around this area by the stairs and transform all three of them you kill all nine of them you get nine trigger treat bags now the only the, the only reason why this method is the not so preferable one is because sometimes there'll be people here yes but you you really need to have an ability you really need to have nobody here so you can peacefully transform all three groups so you can use your abilities here. For example, a, a group attack that hits everything. And if you don't have that, then you gotta use one of your utility spells, which is the, like for the elementalist, the arcane wave. However, if you don't have any group attacks or any AOE attacks, you can always use a staff on a guardian because the guardian staff has the number one attack and the number one attack is that hits everything around it 
So what a lot of people like to do is what I'm going to be showing you in method two. So this is sort of, if you're a high level and you want to do it, this is a great area for you. Sometimes there'll be people here annoying you, but most of the time it's pretty quiet. At, at a high level, you can go here and just keep on transforming all three groups. The group here by the birds, the group here by the frogs, and the group here by the stairs. And you can get nine trick-or-treat bags every time they respawn. The respawn time doesn't take that long. It's, it isn't that bad. It's pretty decent. And I'm going to be showing you the other method right now. So this is one area that's really good. The other area that's really good is in Red Assume. And everyone goes here. Well, I don't know how many people are there now, but usually everyone who does this, they want to go here. So once we're here, you'll see that people are already here. Now, this is usually what happens. As you can see, a lot of these people are level 1. They're wearing the starting gear. And the reason why is because... They either don't find the first method very, you know, very... They don't find it good enough. They don't find the first method good enough. Or they don't have a utility spell that lets them attack in groups. Like this one right here. You see, it attacks everything around. Because remember, when you use your Maze Bomb, you have three charges to throw. And when, and when you use those three charges, if you use all three charges then you can use your spells again. So if you transform one group, you have two charges left. What are you gonna attack with? You have nothing to attack with. So you gotta use one of these. Now what a lot of people like to do is is they usually see someone here, this guy right here is throwing the maze bomb and then all these low levels, they'll just attack with their one skill and basically they'll get credit because if you do some amount of damage to the candy corn elementals, if you do a little bit of damage to them, you automatically get credit. So this guy that's throwing the maze bomb will just group together with all these guys. He'll let them all hit. He'll let them all hit one time the whole group, and then he'll kill them. So basically, everyone here in this group gets the trick or treat bags. So you can do that. But if you're alone and you happen to be lucky that nobody's here, which sometimes I'm lucky, no one's here. You can see it. The three rats here. There are three rats that that come out of this little area here. You'll see him. There they are. Well, that guy, that guy just killed him, but... If, see, if no one's here, those three rats, they'll run across the street here. And you can transform them. And this troll here is constantly killing them. But you, you, you've you been seeing it happen. Hopefully, this guy transforms. They constantly come out, you see? They constantly come out. So when you transform them... With the maze bomb, they'll constantly come out, and you can constantly keep on killing them. Now, this method is only good if you're doing it like this in the group way. Or if you're alone and you want to use this skill here. Because honestly, these things won't respawn. Well, they will respawn, but I don't know, it seems a bit tedious for me to respawn for transform and then wait for another group and then transform again and then wait for another group and then transform again you'll have a bunch of candy corn in the middle and someone might kill them so this is only good if you if you're like doing it in a group or if you're alone and you can use one of your utility spells but if you're but if you're doing it alone and there's people here go to queensdale and you can easily transform three groups and then kill them with these spells after three usages or you can do it group by group and just use a utility spell. But anyway, that's how you do it. So those are the two best spots. Now, let's go down to the gold making process. I know it took a long time to get here because I wanted to explain, you know, the areas. And I wanted to explain how to do it. Um, so yeah. It can be a little tricky if you don't have a utility spell that, you know, does, it, does area effect damage. Because then you have to use all three maze bomb usages, all three charges, and hope that no one steals your stuff. And, you know, I find that kind of ironic, though, you know, because everyone says, oh, Guild Wars is like the game where nobody cares if you steal stuff. Like, you're meant to work together. You know, if someone steals your 
iron ore mine, they're not going to be stealing it because it's all their own. Like, everyone has their own iron ore. And now you see this, and it's like, oh, they'll steal my stuff, they'll steal my stuff. So every review says, oh, you can share, you can share. And then this is the only thing in the game that you can't share. <laughs> and it was just kind of ironic. But anyway, let me go to the, uh, where is the trading post? Now check this out. Remember, one maze bomb costed 10 silvers. One maze bomb costed 10 silvers. Each maze bomb has three charges, meaning you can transform nine animals into candy corn elementals, meaning you get nine trick or treat bags per maze bomb. So, maze bomb was 10 silvers, as you can see. Actually, let me just go sell. Now look at this. One trick or treat bag sells for 438, even if I don't sell instantly. Five silvers. Look at this. 40 silvers. If I go over here, you know, sell them all. 34 silvers. This is how much you make per maze bomb. Subtract the 10 silvers that you use to buy a maze bomb. You're making 20 silvers per maze bomb. If you want to sell it here, you're making 40 silvers per maze bomb. You take off the exchange fees and the listing fees, you're still making 34 silvers. You take off the exchange fees and listing fee here, you're still making 30 silvers. And of course, take away the 10, you're still making 20 silvers. Regardless, you're making a huge amount of money. And if you, if you do the math and you see how long, like, for example, how long does it take you to transform a group and then kill it? It may take you 30 seconds. You're making 20 silvers every 30 seconds. And if you're in a group like the one I showed you in Radisum by the incubation lab, let me close this. If you are in this group right here, and you get a level 1 character, make a level 1 character, make it a guardian, get a staff on him, and then just farm with this group, you're going to be getting 3 trick or treat bags every 15 seconds. So that's, that's 15 silvers every 15 seconds. If you do this for a minute, you're going to be getting 60 silvers a minute. If you do it for five minutes you're gonna be getting three gold do it for an hour you're gonna be getting like 20 gold maybe even more just do the math and you'll see I, I i did the math before i just can't remember what it was but you're getting a huge amount of stuff i remember i did this for i remember before i went to school you know it was it was three in the afternoon i had to leave for school at at 3 15 i was like okay you know what i'm gonna go and use my maze bomb and farm a little bit the candy corn elementals I made three, four gold in those five, ten minutes that, w that I was there. So, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I bought a hundred maze bombs. And I bought these uh, I bought these a hundred maze bombs like two weeks ago. Maybe even more. Maybe I bought these th maze bombs three weeks ago. Maybe two weeks ago. And every day I've been just doing a little bit. So, you don't even need to have a lot of time. If you want to do this like, you know, if you want to do this every day just a little bit you can do that if you want to go the whole day just massively farming you can do that I mean the the gold income is massive on a massive scale this is by far the best farming method that I've seen the only problem is people might get smart and start selling these maze bombs for more or you'll see them you know diminish in supply and they'll be selling for like 13 silvers if you get to this point you're not going to be making much money anymore because trick-or-treat bags are going to be increasing in supply maze bomb are going to be increasing in demand less supply you'll see these becoming more expensive you'll see trick-or-treat bags becoming less expensive and eventually we're not going to have much more profit but right now this very moment and maybe for like another month or two this is an amazing method to make money so that's it for there apologize that the video is very long i just wanted to you know make sure everyone understands this method because i know it can be a bit confusing especially with the skills and how to kill them and especially on you know getting the most out of your out of your maze bomb if you transform nine animals you you're making the most amount that you can 
it doesn't even matter if you transform nine animals you can transform four animals you can transform only five animals with like for example if you can't find you know if you're not very good at transforming a group of three you can transform a group of two and you can get six bags you're still making a massive profit the one of the best profits that I've seen so that's basically I hope you guys learned something if it's a bit confusing you can comment I'll be gladly explain it I try my best to explain here in a short amount of time I know the video is pr probably very long but uh, thank you for watching I have more other videos on my channel about Gear Wars 2 about other stuff tutorials on different programs and all that other stuff so if you want to go there you can check it out subscribe if you like I make videos I mean not every maybe I do like every week maybe every two weeks but they're good videos okay so just subscribe if you like leave a like at the bottom comments for questions and thank you for watching this is GS Man of Smart I'll be back sooner than you think don't go anywhere